This adventure takes place in remote northwest Namibia. In this episode, Ben and I are going to continue to show you how to explore Namibia independently. We continue from the town of Swakopma, where we stop to fix a leak in the Land Cruiser. We head south on the main and only highway. At Wallfish Bay, we stop for some bird watching, flamingos. The road ends at a salt plant on the south side of town. Time to let some air out of the tires and engage four-wheel drive. Our objective is Sandwich Harbor, but there are no roads leading to Sandwich Harbor. Just inshore tracks and beach sand and dune driving. We opted for the inland option. We've lost any sign of a clear track, so Ben deflates the tires some more. The river was a good sign. Maybe a track would materialize. We have a trusty maps for Africa. We are uh, heading approximately back to the coast. We somehow managed to end up back on the river and at a dead end. Let's go back to the intersection, take a right, go down the river, and then hang a left. Yeah. Back where we started, in the high grass. We're lost, we have no water, all we have is potato chips. The problem with large sand dunes is Ben's little car struggles to get over the top. In this case, to even reach the top. That was a practice run. But Ben is determined. Ben gets out and looks for alternatives. Alright, looks like he's gonna try and get a running start.
If you can't get over it, then go around it. I've lost sight of Ben and do what is wisest when alone in the desert. Wait. Where did he go? I spotted him in the distance. I signaled that I'm walking over. Looks like Ben got stuck. You did that without me. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, next time you can. Ooh, baby! We're still looking for a way around that big dune. This lowland option is a maze, and the slippery black muck is easy to get stuck in. Yeah, right. <laughs> no way. I agree, because I didn't want to dig in stinky mud. Ben spots an unlikely crossing to regain the sand dunes. Ben checks it out. He decides to give it a try. Success! Back in the dunes, we find a track. At last, we reach the coast again and the border of the Nanib Naklu National Park. We've reached the sea. We continue south along the beach. We just had a chat with the tour drivers of some package service. So in any event, I don't think there's a wreck out here we're going to find today. So what's plan B? Just go south? All right. Ben decided to leave the beach and follow the package drivers into the dunes for some photos and fun driving. We're back on the beach, where we meet a girl sunbathing. But she doesn't like Ben's paparazzi photo style. Okay, maybe just one more photo. Late in the day, we ran out of beach. We had reached the point where the dunes ended in the surf.
we decided to set up another free camp for the night. The coast is almost always overcast, but we were gifted with sunshine and blue skies. These are the classic surreal images of Namibia. Man's chakalaka beans and onions. Wow. Camping food. End of day three. In the sand dunes, just north of Sandwich Harbor. Mighty fine day. Good morning on day four. Fresh animal tracks from last night. They come from over there on the left and they move to the right. What was this all about? What dug that trail? Ben is a very tidy guy. Wash the engine, add some water, checking for leaks, water levels, packing lines, hoses, belts, rev, drips, the angle of the sun, the moon, the wind, everything's in order, we can leave. Our goal, return to Swakopmund. But which way? All right, so what's the news? Uh, you only spoke Afrikaans, but uh, you said, yeah, Balf is bay, up the beach. But wait, Ben has noticed that his wheels are not turning properly. This one is spinning. And the rear one? Was the right one spinning? No. Diff lock is gone. This is one to check the diff lock. 
But it's not working. It's just spinning on one side. So we need to get, gotta get that fixed in this car cover. But first, we need to dig the car out. In Wallfish Bay, Ben finds a place that can take a look at the diff lock. We decided to spend the night back in lovely Swakopmund. The old German town with all the amenities. <laughs> 